okay, I got the information I was looking for. I keep seeing daughters and daughters and daughters. And what do the dots mean over and over? And what does it mean, a light beam? The Australians are saying a light beam. Well, it's the beams of the ship of the Titanic that was blown up. They went out five days, but it only took one day to come save them. How did they do it that fast? That other ship can't be that fast. The other ship that they showed, the Olympic, study who owns the two ships, my friends, because on it, it says wolf. It says everything about disaster, not caused by an iceberg, but by a torpedo that went right through the ship's hull so they can sink all these people, take over the banks and the trains, and then fly over to get before that, what they had is they already set up a system on the other side. It was already set up in North America because we left England after the war. So it was already set up on one side. Now we had to tie the two ends together. So you get the Titanic to go down, and now you own all the little places. Now we can go to China and do what we want. Chinese food. It's a war, and it's a buffet. It's a war. It's a war. It's a fox. A fox is a ren. A ren in French. It's a war, and it's a ren, and it's buffet, buffet style. That's all I gotta say. The signs just come in, I look at the Titanic, the number of people dead, it, it means the word of the fox. And if I go back to the page, uh, if I go back to the page, April 10th, 2012, it's gonna be 100 years. But, okay, the plane was ordered, 1908, so that means, 103, 10-3. It starts with 10-3, and then if you look at the yard number, it's 10-4, but backwards, 401. Harland, Wolf, Belfast. Three people. Three people, Harland, Well, Belfast. Titanic was built at the Harland and Wolf shipyard in Belfast, Ireland, and designed to complete the river current line Lustantia and Mortina. Morticia. Oh my God. Whoever's building these boats, he's building them. Because when you call a, they call this boat, right? In one of the articles, they called it, it's the Western Star because the, the Western Line that built this boat, it's the Western Star. And it, no one, you know, and you cannot, if you name that ship Western Star and you didn't christen her, then you don't love that Western Star because it's the Western Star of God, the Star of David. Okay. It's that star of the heart of everything. All these ships are going out just so nobody actually comes home. And if they come home, their house and the fox and the wolf were there and the things aren't the same. Now you're controlling the oceans, the waters, and on land and off land. And it was set up a long time ago. It's Western Star. I drove a Western Star. You know what you do with a Western Star? Titanic is called Western Star. Tie 10 up in the attic. Instead of in the attic, it's under the ground. Western Star. I drove a Western Star to California. I brought my load there. I dumped off my load and I came home with nothing. So they went up. They picked up the few people that came off while the others came home with nothing. The cupboard was bare. Somebody won with the Titanic going down. This is not a funny. This is not a Liverpool, you know. It's the name of the pool place I go play pool is Liverpool. So since Ireland is now involved, there's just, there's just a whole big mishmash of things, but the 100% is they did not hit an iceberg and crash. Because everybody knows if the ocean flows, okay, if the boat went to where the flow was, okay, the iceberg will have more of a point on it. And you're not going to go right into an iceberg because most of them on that side where they were had to be a little bit more on an angle. So, you know, if they hit an iceberg, they would have really bounced off of it, more or less. I mean, that's the way I look at it. I mean, it takes a big torpedo to make a hole in a boat. And now they opened up their beans, and I'm pissed off about why the Titanic died, and they locked everybody downstairs, and I had to tell you this story because nobody ever listened to this story of mine. There was one Olympia. The ship was hiding out. It was telling you there was another ship. By showing you there's a ship beside a ship, it's saying somebody's on the ocean watching you, waiting, and all of a sudden, they know you're gonna hit the iceberg, and boom, a guy on the ship who said, I'm gonna be saved. They planned it. It was on the ship. Some guys got saved that was on the ship. The captain, he, he, he devoted his life to the ship, and he went down with the ship. And did he go down with the ship? Or was he the first one off? Because they showed it was filling up with water, and water is usually good when they're filling up with water. When they fill your pitcher up with water, it means you're safe. 
So was he really actually doing this on the ship or was he safe? You understand what I'm saying? The glass is half full, the glass is half empty. That's okay. 